to another YouTube video. Right now, everything is a little bit crazy, a mess, because I am running out the door. I'm just doing my makeup before I leave, but basically, today is a Thursday, and I just finished up work. I have a little red bow in my hair because I'm doing a very fun, festive holiday thing, which is a girl's walk in Central Park. You might remember my friend who did my photo shoot in Central Park. Okay, I moved this over here so that I can talk to you while I am quickly doing my makeup at the same time. But basically my friend who did the photo shoot with me in Central Park, the morning that I got engaged, and I didn't know that I was getting engaged, <laughs> of course, asked me if I wanted to do this walk with her. So I had seen and heard of it before. It's a ticket that I got on Eventbrite. It's free. It's just, I don't know, um, it's like a holiday event. So it's all these girls get together and go on a fun little walk together to Central Park. And when we get to Central Park, we're going to go ice skating. So I have my ice skates that I'm just going to grab and throw them in my bag. I love my own ice skates. I'm not a good ice skater, by the way, or anything like that. Um, but I have fun doing it, and it's just meant to be a fun thing. But I am so excited. This weekend is going to be a good weekend because I have lots of fun stuff planned. My cousin Jessica is coming in from Boston tomorrow to stay here for the weekend because we are going bridesmaids dress shopping in the city, so I'm super excited for that. And it is like the Christmas season. I am finally back in real time with my vlogs. Like, I feel like we just jumped forward from the last vlog, which was totally fall, to now being in the holiday season. Vlogmas is coming up so quickly. I think, I think we will see, but I heard, because I called Whole Foods and asked, that they're supposed to be putting out their Christmas trees tomorrow, so I've already planned ahead, like Lyle, if the trees are out, we're getting one. <laughs> so we're going to go walk and get a tree, and my cousin's coming in and shopping, and oh, it is my birthday. My birthday is November 24th. And it always falls right either on Thanksgiving or on Black Friday or just some day during that week. And so it's always a super, super busy, stressful week. And because of that, it's just never a good time to celebrate my birthday. And so my friends and I are going to do a little birthday lunch brunch in between the bridesmaids dress shopping. So that'll be really fun. And uh, yeah, just so many fun things planned. Here is my look. <laughs> I am running out the door, but uh, yeah, I'm super cozy and I feel very holiday-like. I threw on this faux fur white jacket. It is so fluffy and warm and comfortable. And my Poulin bag, which I love. I've got my ice skates in here. Warm <laughs> older mini Uggs on and my Saison little socks. And I'm gonna go have some fun. You guys, the trees are already up. I forgot it was actually today, but Lyle and I can only go tomorrow. Oh, wait to pick one out. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing this.
the next morning now. I am just standing in my living room. I've been running around this morning. The dryer is going right now because my Jessica is coming. I'm so excited to see her. She's driving down from Boston and she should be here this afternoon. So I'm just washing some sheets for her, you know, being my little hosting self, just trying to get ready. I'm gonna pick up some groceries later. Also my little project for this morning. So I have three boxes right here to send out to three people who bought some of my clothes on Poshmark. So I've actually sold, I think six or seven things so far on it. So that's pretty good. I think I had maybe like 12 or so that I put up there. So I'll leave the link in my Poshmark if you're interested in anything, wanna take a look. There's still some stuff on there, but these things are so good. And I've already gotten messages from some of you guys who bought stuff and you're like, oh, I love it, I'm so happy. And I'm like, I'm so glad that it's going to a good home. So yeah, I'm gonna run down to the post office. I have to carry all these. Um, I actually have a printer and I, have been printing all of the shipping labels on my printer, but the printer broke yesterday. So I have to go to FedEx to use their printer to print the labels. So yeah, I'm gonna stop there first and then carry everything all the way to the post office. That's New York City life, I guess. It's carrying things and just walking everywhere and that's just what we do. But honestly, it's actually good exercise. What else? Oh, and then last night the event was actually so much fun. So my friend Masha, she ended up uh, inviting another one of her friends and we met up with her there too. And we're all just skating around and I'm like holding Masha's hand because she's like gonna fall. And honestly, I almost fell more times than anyone. Like I, like I kept like getting like the front of my skate like dug into the ice and I had some close calls. But all in all, it was just fun and they had free hot chocolate and free admission obviously, free skates, the whole thing. It was a whole event and it was nice to just like even briefly talk to some other girls, um, you know, that I hadn't met before. Um, although I will say there was one girl that I met when I first got there. So it was a whole long line going into, cent into Central Park. I had no idea that there would be that many people there. There was probably like, there was hundreds of girls I would say. And it was just this whole big long line. So I go to the end of the line, they give us these free tote bags. Like Athleta, I guess, was putting on this event in like collaboration with the city girls who walk. It was fun <laughs> and I got my ice skate on. I'm definitely gonna go back there. I already have plans to go back. Yeah, so right now, selling my clothes and just getting ready to host this weekend. of the like holiday season here in Soho. I showed these on my Instagram stories too a little bit, but for example, I actually just passed by a place that was putting up garland around the pillars and then Veronica Beard has this garland in here too. And I just love seeing this stuff. It's so cute and festive. And then right across the street here, we have Kendra Scott and they're doing this thing. It says, the more the merrier. And they have Christmas lights and trees and gifts inside. So that's really cute. And then right across from that, over here, is this other store. Up close it looks like this. And then Splendid also does, always does, the cutest job at their holiday decorations. I love how they use the staircase and they put all of the greenery around it and then the lights, and it's just so cute. I love it, I love these things. I wasn't planning to, but I just walked by Abercrombie and & Fitch, and they it looks like they have lots of fun sparkly things inside. So I thought maybe I would take a look. Oh, that cardigan is so cute with the pearls on it. And I love this sparkly mini skirt with the hat. Let's go. These dresses are so cute for holiday parties. They have them in blue, green, black, 
here's that cardigan. By the way, I couldn't find anything in Abercrombie. <laughs> but the Alaska store I wanted to show you guys was Sephora. So they put a big giant bow around their awning and they have all this fun like gift wrapped <laughs> kind of decor. And I love when Sephora puts out all their like gift sets. It's just so cute. Gosh, even Mango has some really cute stuff in here. Okay, I'm going real quick. Sorry. Gosh, Mango has so many holiday things. <gasps> Look at this. With the slit. <gasps> Look at these shoes. How fun. Pink sparkle. Velvet, super holiday. What are these? Those are earrings, those are huge. This is such a cute cardigan with the rosette details on it, and I love that it's short sleeve too. That is just adorable. faux fur jacket like this over a dress. I think it looks so elegant. Oh my gosh, this pink look. This is totally something I would wear. Love this. These are the jeans, you guys, that I wear like every single day in fall and winter. I'm obsessed with them. Like best purchase. Jackets. I had no idea that Mango had so many good new arrivals right now. Oh my gosh, and it's pre-Black pre Friday, 30% off. This is so good. Randall's also got this cute new pink stuff in the window. I love this bow dress and the feather clutch. That is just so adorable. And then look at these lace shoes in this bag. Those shoes would be so cute for the holidays with like some tights and a dress. Ah. 
Okay, so exciting. I just had to throw on a sweatshirt that I don't care about because I might get it ruined because we are about to go pick up our Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. I look forward to this all year long. And I think I showed in the vlog last night that Whole Foods put them up yesterday. Ah, uh, so I can't wait to pick it out. So yeah, threw in a sweatshirt and then also a quick note on all of the window displays I was just looking in. I there is so much good stuff out there right now, but I had to tell myself like, just wait one more week and it'll be Black Friday and there'll be like such discounts on all this stuff. So uh, yeah, but ee, we're doing at the tree. Yeah, I also, I also don't know if we want to go as wide as we went last year either. Agreed. I kind of liked it though. Okay, the question is, which tree do we want? I just picked up a bunch of stuff for breakfast and everything for Jessica when she's here. Um, and now someone's going to come out and help us with the tree and we're going <laughs> to figure out how to get it into our apartment. Okay, Jessica's gonna be here in a little bit, but we've got the tree. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And right now I have it in a bucket with water, just soaking up, taking its first big drink of water. I cut off a little bit off the end of the trunk, so that kind of like cutting off the end of the flowers when you get them, it just makes it easier for it to drink. So I did that and I'm just letting it drink its water and then, you know, once it's been a day, we will cut it to let the branches relax and then we'll start decorating it. I also, I'm just like picking up around the house, you know, like before someone comes, you just kind of like go around, do a once over, make sure everything <laughs> looks good. I got some flowers from Whole Foods. It's been a little bit since I've um, bought some fresh flowers and I used to do it every week and then I kind of stopped just cause it's like, I don't know, an added expense, but uh, if someone's coming over, perfect time. So I got some flowers and I just put a candle on so that it smells all good and homey and like cozy in here. Oh, and then I'm just putting her sheets together so that, you know, she knows like everything's all good to go. Um, okay, so guys, so guess who's here? <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> we're walking to dinner right now. We're gonna get sushi. But uh, yeah, she made it. made some breakfast and I made monkey bread which is something that my mom makes and it's very good it's actually delicious I'll put the recipe on the screen if anybody wants it we've got some fruit and orange juice hello guys this is Taylor just popping in here to say I didn't explain it what's about to happen next but we are going bridesmaids dress shopping 
and so that's what you're about to see and then there's gonna be a lunch and that's like my little birthday lunch and then more bridesmaids dress shopping show me life show me love make a change time is up we can wait for better days but the days won't come show me life show me love show me life show me love make a change time is up we can wait for better days but the days won't come show me life show me love this is how we got show me life show me love this is how we got show me Yesterday was the best day. I truly couldn't have asked for a better day. I honestly 
when you get a bunch of people together like friends you know in one and you're trying to pick something I, you know you don't know how it's gonna go because you're like is one person gonna like this is one person gonna like that but we all I felt like vibed so well and like we all agreed on like the dresses that we thought were the most beautiful and I'm really excited for the one that we picked out I really liked Bella Bridesmaids and I checked online and I saw that they actually do have locations around the country so not just in new york they have a ton of locations in other states um so if someone happens to be looking right now i would highly recommend them they were also so friendly and so nice and i just really enjoyed them and then we went to lunch so we did my birthday lunch we went to lafayette and then they brought out this big sparkler thing for my birthday it was so fun it was like huge and i'm just staring at it like making my wish <laughs> and yeah i really loved it and it was just so cozy in there i love lafayette once it becomes like fall and winter something about it it's just such a good like go-to restaurant yes so we did that and we got croissants from there so they're actually known this is like they weren't known for this before like tiktok and instagram and social media but they have these really good croissants and people line up like around the block for hours to get these croissants and when we went in there we happened to be in there right at the right time when they had just put out croissants and so we all bought some and i actually haven't even tried it yet um i have it i hope it's still good the next day probably not as good but i'm sure that it's still 10 out of 10 so i'm gonna try that in a second but um yeah we did that and uh yeah oh and i gave them all a little gift i didn't oh i'm so mad i didn't take a video of it but i got them all these little compact mirrors with their name engraved on them there are these little gold compact mirrors i got them from etsy so i can leave the etsy link below but i was just like i'm just gonna keep giving you guys gifts like as a thank you and just like gratitude um so i gave them that and they all liked them and then we did our second appointment which was uptown we went to the upper east side to Bilden, it's B-H-L-D-N, the anthropology, um, like, wedding bridesmaid, like, area, and we had an appointment there, and the girls tried them on, and it's just so, like, pretty and nice in there. It's, like, the gold gilded, like, mirror, and the chandeliers, and, like, anthropology is just so pretty. So, um, that was fun to do that there. Um, the selection was more limited though, that's the only thing, especially in the color that I wanted, which of course I'm sure it's no surprise, so I'll just say it, bridesmaid dresses, I was hoping to be pink. <laughs> so um, they had a limited selection in pink, but we did try on, they did try on a couple of them in different colors. And that's the thing, as I guess when you're watching this back, like the colors that they're wearing wouldn't be the colors that we would get the dresses in, they're just the like sample colors, and then we would order them in the right swatch. So actually, I'm going to get the swatches in the mail in like a week or two. They're going to mail them to me so I can kind of decide and, you know, put them on my mood board and, you know, do the whole thing. So I'm super excited for that. And uh, yeah, we actually, it just ended up being a really fun day. We ended up getting a drink afterwards and like debriefing, talking about the dresses, talking about the bachelorette party being planned and just everything else. It was, oh, and then we ended up getting dinner at a Mexican restaurant also on the Upper East and they gave me like a birthday drink <laughs> and the little candle that I blew out and it was just really fun and I'm really really grateful for my friends. I feel like I have the perfect little group together for this bridal party and I'm just so excited and grateful and yeah I know I didn't really stop to talk to you guys much when I was vlogging yesterday to like explain what's happening but I was just really living in the moment and um, I really enjoyed it. Okay, something else that I wanted to tell you guys about, which honestly is one of the most exciting things in my YouTube like journey so far, which was that I am collaborating, well, kind of like working with Cezanne on a monthly basis. When I got that email, you guys, I was, I didn't, I was like, is this real? Oh my gosh, because there's the Saison store right here on Elizabeth Street, like so close to my apartment. I go there all the time. I've been a fan of Saison for so long. I've been wearing their sweaters and their like all of their clothes and everything for years. And it was like, if, if you had said like, what's the list of like the dream 
partner like brands that you want to work with Cezanne would be like right at the top of the list they're also French and you guys know that I love French stuff in Paris and everything like that I'm literally wearing like a shirt in French right now this isn't from Cezanne but this is a, a girl that like does um stuff but anyways it's just like a monthly basis where I have basically like a voucher to buy some clothes so it's not like I don't have any like specific things I need to say or nothing like that I just get to show you guys honestly like what my favorite pieces are what I'm buying and what I'm loving for the season um, and these are things that I would literally be buying anyways so it's just really nice but I felt like I just need to put that I need to just tell you guys that before I like show you things because that way you just know that it is gifted but um, also know that like I would never take this if it wasn't something that I truly truly loved and believed in so um that's that always kind of transparency you know um <laughs> this one i got at the start of the season this was actually prior to saison reaching out to me at all but i absolutely am obsessed with this cardigan this is the sweetest prettiest little pink cardigan i had ever seen and i got it and i was wearing it right at the start of like the fall season as like a girly kind of alternative to most of the fall clothes out there and it's just like fuzzy i don't know if you can see that but it's just like a sweet fuzzy little pink and these embroidered details are so beautiful and this just kind of thrown over a little tank top or whatever or you can just wear it buttoned up is so pretty my most recent purchase is this top so you might have seen me wearing this in my a video I just did it was what was oh it was the girly capsule wardrobe I wore this and uh, this I had had my eye on for a while it's been sold out on the site for a long time and then it keeps coming back it like keeps coming back like in spurts of different sizes by the way in, in a lot of the saison sweaters I do size down one size so I'm normally a size medium in tops and I buy a size small in tops or in sweaters at saison. Um, let me just double check that that is the case. Yes. So this is a size small. This one is also a small. And then this one, this one's a medium. But this one actually is a little bit big. Like I feel, felt like I could have done this small. And then this is like their most classic cardigan, the Gaspard. I have this in two different colors, but I want it in like every color. <laughs> this actually is an extra small, but that was a little too far. I didn't need to go size down that much because the way that you are supposed to wear these is that, um, well, the, the, there is no way that you're supposed to wear it. The point of these is that they're super versatile. So you can wear them front with the buttons in the front, buttons in the back. You can wear them unbuttoned. You can kind of just wear it over the shoulder. Or you can do it this really cool French way, which is where you take it and you kind of tie it in a, in like a knot like this. And you, it's hard to show you if I'm not wearing it, but I have shown it on my vlogs before. But anyways, it kind of looks like that. And it makes more sense if it isn't super small. Like you want a lot of fabric to be able to do that. And also I was just in the store recently and the girl in front of me tried on one of these over her top. She was wearing like, I want to say a white button down. So you obviously want it to be a little bit bigger so that you can layer it over other things. So in this one, I probably would go more of like your true size. So for me, like I kind of wish I owned one of these in a medium or if I just want to wear it regular, probably in a small. But I guess it depends on like how you like would want to wear it or how you plan on styling it with your other clothes. And then I also just recently got from them this pair of pants. So I wear off like off white colored and white colored pants all throughout the winter season because that's just how I am. I love the monochrome looks where everything is one shade and if that shade is white or cream in the winter time it is so beautiful especially with like a really nice coat over it like a beautiful like white or cream wool coat is just so elegant and especially during like the Christmas holiday season too it's just so 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 pretty. So anyways this is, I don't even know why I looked it up because I knew what this is called because this is the second pair of these jeans that I own. These are called the Brute Sexy and I own the other pair that I own is in a size, one size down from this, a 26 and they're a little tight but they're a light pink and they're really pretty. And then this is a size 27 which seems to fit me perfectly and yeah, these are more of like a cream color but this is like one of their most classic style, kind of like the Gaspard cardigan. They sell these every single year. Like they bring them back 
every single year and when a brand is bringing something back that often it's because people like it they're great they're classic and they're not a, like super trendy piece but they're going to go out of style this is you know the French way where it's like you buy these pieces to last a long time in your closet um, so yeah so here are the pants on in their pants in these brute sexy jeans I like to actually just roll up once just the very bottom of them because for some reason the length looks a little bit better and it looks good with whatever shoes you're wearing you can kind of show them off and then this is one of the prettiest <laughs> sweaters of the season I think <clears throat> it's like this these like vertical lines in this boat neck and then it's got a little bit some gathering here on the shoulder and then the sleeves are like this and it's just a pretty kind of neutral color and I feel like this would be gorgeous with like any jewelry that you have uh, maybe some nice earrings um, bracelets like a watch it's just so elegant this look and it's one of those things that because it is neutral you can pair it with lots of other things in your closet and then of course not a sweater but a top this top that I showed you guys in a recent vlog is also super super classic from Saison it's like reminds me of like the same sort of time when you would wear a white button down but it's a little bit more of like a feminine kind of shape so this monkey bread recipe came out so good and yeah it's like the easiest thing so I will I think I already would have put it on the screen but I'll put it on the screen again just in case because really really love this and then so sweet my friend Jess gave me these Lauderay macaroons I love Lauderay and she asked for all of them to be pink and white <laughs> so 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 sweet so I absolutely love that and that was so thoughtful of her and then Jessica who is in town visiting gave me this how pretty is that? I'm like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of like, you know, just sitting at my vanity, doing my makeup, and it's like a girl with a dress with a bow on the back, and a pink lamp, and uh, yeah, it's just so pretty. It's a coaster. I thought that that was so thoughtful, and um, she also gave me this cute little pink purse, which has the straps. So this is so perfect for like traveling and everything else, and it says my name on it. It says Taylor in gold, so I thought that that was so sweet and thoughtful. Okay, so I am so curious about this Lafayette croissant. I put it in the fridge, and I hope that that wasn't the wrong move. Yeah, they give it to you in this little container. Basically, it looks like this. It's a circle, and it's super flaky. I got the pistachio flavor, so there was... The three options were chocolate, pistachio, and candy apple. And I think the chocolate would have been a good move but i think i just like when i was buying it i wasn't in a chocolate eating mood so i went with the pistachio because i do really like pistachio and um some of the top actually came off in the, the bottom of the box but nevertheless let's try this out oh my god honestly even a day later not being fresh i can just tell that this is amazing wow this is the name of the restaurant and the bakery. So good. This is random, but I'm so obsessed with the light that comes in this room. I guess it's coming from the shade that I put down here, but I just love all of these shadows and the lights hitting the perfume bottles. And then those like, I don't know, reflections. It's just so pretty. Okay, so the next big mission for today is this tree. So right now we have it in the bucket and it is soaking up the water. But I do have an actual tree stand that I got last year. This is from Amazon. So the base of it is metal and it's pretty sturdy. It has these four wooden pegs that you put on the end and it just raises it off the ground a little bit. But yeah, so... At the end of the holiday season last year, I got this red bag, and this I store in our one and only storage closet, and it has in it all of our lights that I wrapped up into these individual cardboard papers, and then it has the tree skirt, which is this beautiful quilted one that I think I got on Etsy. I can link it, and yeah, the tree stand, 
pegs. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut it so that it can kind of relax and then vacuum up some of the bristles. Okay, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. First of all, I changed my clothes because I was like, I am not ruining that outfit with sap and pine needles and dirt and you know, <laughs> elements of the outside coming inside. And um, it was totally off center. Like I didn't, I couldn't figure out like why it was like that. And then we were twisting it and turning it and then we just lifted it up and put it back down again and then rejiggered the screws on the side of the base and now it's upright and it's beautiful and I'm so excited. I'm just gonna let the branches relax a little bit before we put the lights on. I think we might do that in a different vlog. Um, I'm not really sure, I haven't really decided. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk. I have one errand that I wanna do and I'll see if the branches have relaxed by then. If so, maybe I'll put the lights on, but uh, I'm just proud of um, where we are so far with it. I love it. But lots of cleanup now to do. <laughs> Vacuuming up all the bristles and the, getting rid of the water. Okay, I am walking now to run an errand. I am on the hunt for an advent calendar. I have my eye on a couple different advent calendars. The Dior run is obviously like the dream one that I want. But the Dior advent calendar I only got because I got it in Paris last year. And that was a really super special thing that I won't unfortunately get to do this year. So I'm looking at other advent calendars. There's a couple I have my eye on. I'm going to go to Bloomingdale's right now to see if there's any, you know, like any of the beauty brands are selling them at the counters. And uh, just going on a little advent calendar hunt in Soho. but it's gonna be a surprise I'm gonna keep it a surprise and you guys will have to wait till vlogmas to see it but I think I might put up the lights on the tree right now and I'm just gonna eat some dinner and uh, yeah just kind of enjoy the rest of the Sunday night in okay never mind scratch that I got way too tired I like changed and cut a few clothes I sat on my bed for two seconds and I immediately felt drained so I'm not going to put the lights on the tree tonight but that will be a very fun thing that we'll do in another vlog but uh yes yeah, speaking of this whole weekend this whole vlog everything has been so much fun it's like I don't know it's just been a really nice weekend and um I feel good and I'm excited about this week it's cyber week and so I'm gonna be super busy with everything we're gonna be hosting Thanksgiving at Lyle's parents apartment we're like cooking and they're they're hosting we're just cooking and bringing stuff and my parents are coming into town and uh, yeah lots lots of fun stuff to come so definitely make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't already and yeah 
that's it. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Okay.